Hi everyone, welcome back to the video diary from World Ground Alpaca Stud. It's the 2nd of February 2012. Now, the alpacas do not wear pyjamas, but they do go to bed at night. Here we have Samson making his way into his bed for the night. If anyone tells you that alpacas don't like to be tucked up in a barn for the night, I think I can assure you that our alpacas will dispel that myth. And here comes Well Ground Close Encounter. Just checking the girls are okay before he comes to bed himself. He's a nosy little rascal. He's got to check everything before he goes to bed to make sure everything's in order. He even wants to check the latest updates to the track car. And he knows where his bed is. And now we have another little nosy Parker. This is Cambridge Buckingham. He too has got to check everything's just okay before he goes in. I think that's fine. Off he goes. Now his uh, room's a little bit further down the alleyway, but he knows exactly where it is and he makes his way down there. And finally, of the four studs, here comes a Ringer Park Lionheart making his way into his room which is next to Buckingham's and again he knows exactly where it is he knows exactly where to go here are the first two Q-tip close encounter on the left and on the right is Samson and here's Samson a little shot of him on his own because he's Liz's favourite here we have Lionheart on the left and Buckingham on the right With the herd stars all tucked up for the night, now it's time for the pregnant females to come in. It's about half past four in the afternoon and the sun's going down. It's already minus two centigrade here and it's expected to get down to minus eight tonight. So the girls are looking forward to getting in, I think, to their nice warm straw bed. The girl nearest us on the left is E.P. Cambridge Adelaide Blue. She's the first to give birth this year and she's due on the 27th of February. And she leads the way into the barn and the rest of course all follow. They come in every night and they know just where they're going. Alpacas are actually creatures of habit and they become very accustomed to this. This has become part of their nighttime ritual. Alpacas don't need to be in a barn at night in these cold temperatures. It's just us. It's that peace of mind. And now finally, up come the female weanlings. The young males and future herd sires actually still live out, but the young female Korea, well, we think they need a little bit extra support, so they also come in the barn at night. They come in the same barn as the studs, where they have their own area. And we've got six absolutely delightful young female Korea this year, and we're really, really pleased with them. And like the rest of the alpacas, you can clearly see, they know just where they're going. Well, pretty much where they're going. And in the barn they go, and that is Lady Linny. Being babies, they just need a little bit more direction. So they'll soon get used to it. And in they go for the night. It's Lady Linny that's the character of the gang and she can never go to bed without a little kiss from her mum. Aww. And there we are. This is well ground in the middle of winter. It's bleak and it's cold. But we love it. Les has just lit the log burning stove and it's very cold out here. Looking forward to going in and tucking up in front of the fire myself. And there we have it. Billie Jean the Boxer and a nice roaring fire. What could be better? And that brings me to the end of another video diary. 
Take care, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.